decided to go with the dad me today. Oh, we're not in time trials. Good start. We're not doing 50cc either. You see, you see my menuing is insane. Watch this. I'm going to make a diagonal. Makes up for it. Every single time. Now, we don't need to mess around in the retros today. We just need to do the nitros. Of course, falling off on Rainbow Road. How hard can that be? It's actually very easy. I do it all the time. I'm a professional. Rude of you to take that box. Hey Yoshi, you wanna... You may be... Already trying to snipe me. Right out the gates. You know, I've got mushrooms. What am I doing? I can take the shortcut. Okay, looks like they're all out of sniping range now. That's nice. <laughs> Dang it. Another? Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Give me another mushroom. <laughs> Doing the beginner strats. I haven't had to do an actual, uh... Actual shortcut yet. I can do the shortcut. I swear I can. I can't... I can't avoid blue shells, though. Perfect. This is a good item to have right now. Okay, not exactly the best of starts. <laughs> Here comes a red right when I throw on my nanners. Yeah, not exactly the best of starts. Two reds and a blue. Yeah, not, not exactly an ideal Luigi circuit. Fine, it's not like this is a serious speedrun anyways. Just gotta throw that disclaimer out. Once again, I throw it out every single one of these speedruns. You see, that's actually a time saver. Gets the CPUs off my back. Reduces the chance of red shells hitting. Why am I not going for the uh, the ramp? Gosh, I suck at that ending part of the track. I've never been good at it. That's scary stuff. Nice. Doesn't matter if I go for it or not. I'll dismiss it anyways. Ooh. Ooh, that fence. It's getting a little too close for comfort. Missed that mini turbo two times. Ooh. That was very close. Okay, there we go. We just we're gonna get out of there and move on to Mushroom Gorge. I'm very happy to go to Mushroom Gorge. That's a great one, a very good one. All right, we're going serious mode from here on out. No more silliness. No more craziness. No more blue shells or red shells. You know, once on Mushroom Gorge, I got blue shelled in the first 10 seconds of the race. Because there was a hacker in the room. I have no video evidence of it, just take my word for it, it happened. I'm not going to lay any traps for myself. I'm not going to hold any bananas because that'll just be too tempting for me to lay traps for myself. Red shells don't work here anyways. I guess if I hold triple mushrooms, it's not that bad. Oh. 
Okay, improv strats. That pal launched me so high. At least I didn't fall off. Oops. Sucks. I don't go for the double mini turbo here because don't do it. It's a scam. It barely saves any time. You have to like finesse it properly to make it save time. If you miss it, it loses time. Nice. That's a good mushroom gorge right there. Dude, my controller has something rattling around inside of it. It always has, though. I, I don't know what it is. It's probably just plastic that chipped off, maybe. Or a bomb. Probably plastic, though. Who knows, if one day I wake up and my controller blew up, probably a bomb, but let's be honest, it's it's going to be plastic. Because if it was a bomb, that'd be far too cool. Alright, starting now, no more silliness. No more messing around. No more red shells. There we go. Pretty sure that's not my banana. So kudos to the CPUs. I almost failed that. Never mind, I did fail that. Gosh. I don't really time trial this one as much as I should. I just spend all my time time trialing Mushroom Gorge. If you couldn't tell. That's why it's my favorite. I don't think it's the absolute best track, but it's definitely getting it's it's always going to be my favorite. Good place to get blued. We got blued on the first race. Other than that, the luck has been solid. Has there been a single shock? I don't think so. It's actually really lucky. Yeah, Mushroom Gorge, you got a 152. There's no way we get a 152 when there's a shock. So yeah, no shocks. Pretty awesome. Oh, I just... <laughs> I probably would have... Um, Accidentally done three tracks that I didn't need to do until I realized just now you see I'm a big I'm a big brain dude No, I'm not I just I'm so bad at menu again. I don't have to do any of the special cup. I barely have to do any of rainbow road Yeah, I always think like oh if I just do like an unlock something speedrun or like a joke speedrun The route won't be that hard and then I mess up the route like I had to do Dry Bowser Percent twice because I messed up the route first time. And it wasn't even like, oh, I messed up the route in lost five minutes. I lost 40 minutes of my life that I will never get back. Alright, and we juke the chain chomp. Ankles broken. Come on, hit the Goomba. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ask and you shall receive, ladies and gentlemen. It's so weird watching fake item boxes bounce on offline. Juke 
the Chain Chomp once again. My favorite is when you uh, you throw a fake item box on offline, and you're short, but then uh, it bounces a little further and hits him. Like, that kind of stuff doesn't happen online. And online, it's the opposite. If you miss left and right, it still hits him somehow. Hey, Bowser. Another blue shell. Goodness gracious. Trying to snipe me. Juke the Chain Chomp once again. Three. Three blue shells. Oh my gosh, there's so many. No! Are you serious? Am I even going to win? Okay, I'm still going to win. What if there's four? Okay, good. We won. Three blue shells and one of them I got comboed. That's funny. Moving on to, um, oh, another one of my weak tracks. I think Moo Moo Meadows and Coconut Mall are my two weakest tracks of the Nitros, certainly. And then Dry Dry Ruins, I'm pretty inconsistent at that as well. But we don't have to play that. We just have to make it through the Star Cup. It'll be good. I don't want to get revenge on Bowser. Or whoever threw the, uh, the Fib. Fib. Blue Shell, that's what I meant. That'll get him. No, what am I... I'm just setting traps for myself. No, I'm not. Maybe it will actually get him. Wow. This really is one of my weak tracks. I also just want to say this one is kind of... I don't want to say vastly overrated. It's still good. I like it. People really overhype it, though. A lot of people say this is the best track by far. No, I don't I don't even think it's the best track. It's good. It's like top 10 if you really like it. But it's not my personal top 10, probably top top 15 definitely. There's our first shock. I'm okay with our first shock coming in Looking at Maldo, that's good. Also, I, I never have any idea what to do for the car patterns, so I just take it inside every time. I don't know why I'm telling you all this, because now if you ever play against me online, you know exactly what I'm going to do. It's like a game of poker. Should never reveal my strategy. Except it's actually not poker, it's just Mario Kart, so it doesn't matter. You see, people don't play Mario Kart for money as much as they do for poker. Ooh, what is that slip drift? Goodness, those bananas. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, well. Uh, all in all, that was an okay coconut mall. I think lap two was strong. Lap one was a little weak. Lot three is kind of mid. Now we're on to DK Summit. I've been getting better at the double. Little by little, getting better at the double. Still not great at it. We'll see if I three for three. I can hope so. We got home court advantage. Got to mention that. Just like I do every time. <laughs> Lines, everybody. That right there is the most difficult part of the whole track. <laughs> Maybe not give me a fake item box, Reggie. Come on. Never mind. Give me a fake item box every single time. Okay. You know, didn't mess me up that much. Yeah, it, it actually did. I should keep my mouth shut the whole time because I am jinxing myself over and over. <laughs> come on, come on, Reggie. Help me out here. 
No boxes, because I don't need one. I got skill. I'm getting really bumped. And such. Just get up there. Just, just go. Just get it. Oh, give me the box. Come on. Oh, just give me the box. <laughs> I'd already started moving to the left to dodge the original fake item box. Gosh, dude. Just need to pull off the, the double shortcut. Nope, that's not going to do it. I got a terrible first alignment. Go back in first. You know, I didn't get a uh, I didn't get a box on purpose though because it was a thundercloud. Stop doing that! Reggie, just let me go all the way around the third, please. So much for that home court advantage. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage right now. Let's get this, though. Yes. No. Got a weird bounce. Alright, make me big. Well, at least we're not getting blued around the, uh, the double. Blooper in the face. Easy. Another? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, it's not even that bad. Be safe. Give me on the turn. Okay. We're good. Two minutes, 41 seconds, everybody. Speed run. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I got... How many times did I get blued? I think only one, but there were two shocks. Actually, no, I got I got blued more than once. I got blued at least twice. Like, there's two shocks, two blues. Getting wrecked at the beginning. Standard speedrun stuff. This is why speedrunners don't speedrun in Grand Prix mode. Kinda have to right now. <laughs> the CPUs are better at sniping than I am. You know, what am I doing? I'm, I shouldn't be throwing my items back. Oh! <laughs> Mario Kart physics moment. Tiny little mess up, but it's catastrophic. Make me big, please. No bats in our face this time. That's nice. I'm going to play very safe from now on. There. I'm not going to fall off anymore. Well, that's quite a bit to ask for. I probably will. And I have to on Rainbow Road. Man. CPUs are keeping me on my toes. Maybe I shouldn't put them on hard. That would actually be a good idea. They won't snipe me and such. Because, like, the CPUs on hard, they're terrible at driving, but they're amazing at sniping. By amazing, I mean better than me, so I'm really not that great. At least we're winning. We're getting first place. Okay, now on to Daisy Circuit. After we watch ourselves beat our chest on the podium. Let's see it, Donkey Kong. Flex your trophy on us. On us poor plebeians. It's two rank, two star rank. I didn't even see him on the podium. I just clicked right through it. I mean, what can you do though? That's just bad item luck. 
Look at this. I'm not going to mess up the menuing this time. You proud of me, guys? Let's go. I did it. Nice. Yeah. Getting away from the madness. Oh, I almost got the thing. Don't know the thing. If you don't know the thing, you can like wheelie off of the coping and get a little bit of air. And then get a slip drift out of it. That's what the world record does, and it is smooth. It looks really cool too. Enjoy the scuffed daisy circuit lines. Why do I go for that? It's it's like it barely saves any time and it's not that easy. I should just cut my losses. Wow! Come on, I barely even touched it. These cones are weird. I mean, I just kind of do whatever, like, I see the world record do where he hits the cones inside of the tunnel and then he hits two at the end. I think if you hit him, like, directly, like, if you hit the base of the cone, then it slows you down more than you hit, like, just the side of it. So that's why you want to aim for the outside of them. I'm not sure why you're supposed to hit them either. Maybe it's because it's like a, it's a tight turn, so you slow down, you can take it tighter. The world record uses the mock bike, so I don't think that's a problem. Goodness, these lines. Do we do the shroomless hippity hoppity? That's the question of the day. You know what? If we're doing, if we're like popping off, then we'll do it. Okay, we're not gonna do it. Nice! It's a good fib spot, though. Why am I looking backwards? It's not online. It's a speed run. Speed run is kind of a stretch though, let's be honest. We've had our fair share of slow moments. There's another one for you. You know, if we did the, uh, the cool kid strat, also known as the hippity hoppity strat, we could turn all that luck around. It's not even bad luck, it's just bad driving. It's kind of a mix of both. This race, though, it's just bad driving. Next lap, I'm going to do it. Could really go for one of those right now. A nice hippity-hoppity strat. Cool. Lines me up for the mushroom, though. That's nice. Cool part two. You know what? We gotta go for this at least once. Nice. Therefore, we should go for the hippity hoppity. You know what we got? Shroomless, by the way. 
Yo, I've never gotten pout on the hippity hoppity before. It's kind of wacky. Off the sign. Off the sign, baby. Let's go. Wasn't okay, Koopa Cape. Lap 1 was a little weak. Lap 3 was... Better, I think? I think it was alright. Second half of lap 3 was definitely better. This is a fun one. I've slowly grown on this one. I mean, I've always liked it, but... I've, I've liked it a lot more. In recent memory. This is my sister's favorite, and rightfully so. It's a great one. Dang it. Oh, the luck is turning around, baby. Let's go. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Hit one banana. Almost got it. <gasps> Could have been a lot worse. We only had to slow down a little. Ooh. Mr. Bean, why are you trying to snipe me? Oh, wait, no, we're on regs. Oh my! That has not happened to me in a long time. But that is a common wheelie lock spot. Surprised me. The master of landings right there. <laughs> Invincibility frames for the win. Let's go. There! Oh my gosh, I got it too well there. Didn't have space for a mini turbo. A star. Oh! 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 My gosh! Off of Wiggler, the bounce shot off the backboard—that was insane. Now give me a mushroom here. Oh! 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 It's because we did the hippity hoppity strap. You know that it changed the RNG. You know when I fell off last lap, that was on purpose. It was RNG manipulation. Outrunning the blue shell. Nice. One more. Grumble Volcano. Do we bag? No, we just go backwards and do the around the rock strat. That's the only glitch we do because I'm not very good at glitches. I can only ever do like Rumble Volcano, Mushroom Gorge, and Wario's Gold Mine. And not the pipe bounce. Just the regular, like, Wario's Goldmine glitch. This one's among the easiest, though. Let me back up a little. I'm gonna play it safe. Nice. Okay. Gotta focus. I don't want to fall off the rock. Okay, we're saving time either way now. Even if we fall off, better than doing the no shortcut thing. Excuse me, no glitch. I mean, it's basically a shortcut. You really round up, like a lot. There we go. Easy stuff. That's all the driving we do. Now we're done with actually playing Mario Kart. We just gotta fall off. You think it's faster to go forwards or backwards? Definitely forwards. Rainbow Road, definitely. Because you can get the startup boost and go forwards immediately. Then just fall off. It's a long fall though. 
A very long fall. I mean, where else are we going to fall off, though? Where do we end the timer? I guess when we lose control of Funky Kong. Shoot! We're supposed to be in versus mode. <sighs> Would it be a big fry run if I didn't mess up the route? Come on, let me pause. No! There we go, okay. Now we will go into versus mode. And we will choose Rainbow Road. And we'll fall off. It will be glorious and grand and amazing. And we'll do it with Donkey Kong. You know, they made a whole, like, earth beneath Rainbow Road, right? Oh, it's 100cc. Oops. Doesn't really change much. They made a whole earth beneath it. But you only ever fall into Greenland or Canada. Which, when I was little, that made perfect sense. Because it's like, oh, it's so far north and we're in space. That makes sense. It's not exactly how space works. Alright, here we go. Bam! Fall off Rainbow Road percent complete. I'm not even joking, too. Look. We fall off, and it's always into the Hudson Bay every single time. Does the Earth, like, revolve? I, I swear, I, I used to think it does. Does it? Definitely does not. Let's try it again. Let's see if we fall in the Hudson Bay. Yep. You can see the Great Lakes, too. We never fall there. I don't know why they went through such a bother trying to make, like, a really good model of Earth. Just so that you can only ever fall into the Hudson Bay. But there we go. We messed up the run, but it wasn't a catastrophic mess up of the run. Very nice. That is what I like to call improvement from every single other time. I've done it X percent speed run. Some random speed run that I totally just made up. But with that small fries, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe. Stay cute. Stay loyal. Because I already know you are. And goodbye.